Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing 10 of the best fragrances for winter. And as always, when we're talking about perfumes, it is an open invitation for all of you guys to share your favorites, your recommendations. So I hope you'll drop me a comment. Let me know some of your favorite winter fragrances, or if you have that one scent in particular that you just can't get enough of, let us all in on your little secret. Now, it's true, Florida does not have a real winter. I was just at an event earlier today outside, 75 degrees, sunny. The heat and humidity never really stops, but I don't care. I don't mind. I still like to change up all of my fragrances seasonally, and around this time of year, that's when I grab all of my warm and cozy fragrances. So I'm going to begin with what I would consider to be the perfect daily use fragrance. It is Christian Dior Amber Nuit. This is actually considered to be unisex. I've said it a million times, I don't like to smell really masculine. And when I smell this fragrance, I can see why it would be perfect for men, women, anybody and everybody who likes this fragrance could wear this fragrance. I pick up a lot of femininity whenever I wear this scent. It has top notes of bergamot, a heart of Turkish rose, some spicy pink peppercorn in there, and then of course it has warm ambery notes in the base, and that's really what lingers. That's going to be the trail of the fragrance that's left behind. And you might hear the notes and hear the name, look at the juice, it's kind of this deeper caramel color, and assume that this is a really bold, intense fragrance. And that's simply not the case. I think it is perfectly balanced. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit warm ambery, but not too much, which is why I think it is perfect for every single day. I could never get sick of this fragrance. It's as if they took all of the notes, all of the ingredients needed for a really bold, powerful, in-your-face fragrance, and then they reeled it back just enough so that everybody can wear this and everybody will love it. Mm. It is so nice. It smells like a crisp, fresh winter morning. It's like a breath of fresh air, it truly is. And there's a hidden nuance to Amber Nui that you might not pick up on right away. I didn't even notice until I compared this directly with Killian Angel Share, another fragrance on the list. But there is a powdery, airy element to Amber Nui, and I think that's what gives it that perfect hint of femininity. So beautiful for daily wear. Next, we might as well talk about Killian Angel Share. This is a new favorite fragrance, and I know I've been talking about this a lot, but it is so delicious. I just want to eat it. I want to drink it. I want to douse myself with this fragrance every single day. I just can't get enough. But this is truly more of the evening version of Dior Amber Nuit. Keynotes include cognac, cinnamon, vanilla, praline, sandalwood, tonka bean. It just sounds delicious, and that's exactly how it smells. It's on the sweeter side, but it's not sickeningly sweet. I think if you love gourmand fragrances, you will absolutely love Angel Share. In the dry down, I get a lot of that praline, cinnamon, vanilla. It's like a delicious bakery, and it has an addictive quality. Anytime I wear this fragrance, if I spray it on my arm, I just kind of keep smelling, keep smelling, keep smelling, because it smells so yummy. And it's not that I'm checking in because I wanna make sure it's still there. I find this fragrance to be incredibly long wearing, but I just can't get enough. It's addictive. It's really smooth and creamy from the vanilla, but in a very sophisticated way. Same thing with the sweetness. It's a very sophisticated, elegant sweetness. Kinda of reminds me of those praline candies you can get in New Orleans. To me, this is definitely an evening fragrance, but it is so sexy. Perfect for winter. Another one of my favorite warm, sweet gourmand fragrances is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This is so sexy, very sensual. It's perfect for date night, a night out. It's great for fall, winter months. Mmm, it is so good. I feel like it's been a minute since I talked about Lost Cherry. Mmm. It is so sweet right off the top. You get black cherry, bitter almond, Peru balsam, roasted tonka, but I always get so much vanilla in the base. That's truly the dry down for me. And as much as I get a lot of vanilla, it is so different from Angel Share, which also has a creamy vanilla. You get the praline, the cinnamon. This is more of a cherry cordial. I get a lot of the cherry almond. It's almost like a specialty dessert. It's so nice. If I had to choose a favorite Tom Ford Private Blend Collection fragrance, it would have to be Lost Cherry. 
Rose Prick is a close second, but there is just something that is so interesting and unique about Lost Cherry. It has an addictive quality to it. And it's not like Cherry Almond is such a groundbreaking combination. Of course it's not, but you don't find a lot of Cherry Almond in fragrance, not at this elevated level. And it is very chic, very sophisticated. I feel beautiful whenever I wear Lost Cherry. It just elevates the entire outfit, the entire mood. I save this for special occasions because the fragrance itself is so special. Tom Ford Rose Prick is a close second place, but it is still one of the best fragrances for winter. I think this is almost in a category on its own. I don't know if winter floral is a thing, but that's what I would consider Rose Prick to be. Usually when I think about floral fragrances, certainly rose fragrances, I think of spring, summer, light and airy, and that is not Rose Prick, not at all. It's a very unexpected rose fragrance. It's a little bit powdery, a little bit sultry. I think this is perfect for evenings, date nights, sexy occasions because it is so feminine and interesting. But I also think this could be a nice daytime fragrance for winter. If you love floral fragrances, but you're not sure what to wear in the winter months, I think this is perfect. We've kind of carved out our own category here. It's inspired by Tom Ford's private rose garden. It has a bouquet of wild roses, so lots of different varieties. Mm. But then you also have a little touch of spicy incense. There's patchouli in here and a bit of a powdery touch. It's still rose, but it's a sultry rose. Of course, my two favorite Tom Ford fragrances have to be that uber luxe price point. These are even more expensive than the original Private Blend collection. Now I will say when Lost Cherry first launched, I was told it's only going to be available in one size. They'll never do a travel size. They'll never do anything else. It's going to be limited edition, really hard to get a hold of. Maybe that's because it had just launched. But now this year we saw that they did come out with a travel spray as well as a little value set. And I hope the same thing is true about Rose Prick. Now I can't see myself finishing this anytime soon, but I think for other people, if you can get a travel spray or you can get a value set, it's definitely the way to go because this is so pretty. It is worth having in your collection. If you love floral fragrances, you have to try Rose Prick. Another one of my winter favorites is the Chloe Nomad Absolute Eau de Parfum. This is also best of 2020. There's a lot of best of 2020 on this list. I guess there were a lot of really great winter fragrances launched last year. So this has keynotes of Divana, Cherry Plum, and Oak Moss, which I know is somewhat polarizing. I've heard from a lot of people lately that told me that they don't really like the original Nomad because they don't really care for the Oak Moss note. Now, I really like it because I think it gives it an earthiness and definitely a unique factor. Oh, it's so good. I do get a lot of the cherry plum. Makes it a little bit sweeter, a little bit more feminine, almost a syrupy quality that you don't get with the original Nomad. Although I love the original as well. And I think if you love the original, you will like this version. It's a little bit more intense, but it's also a bit more sensual, which is why I think it is even better for winter. Nomad Absolute could be day or evening, especially if you like a rich fragrance during the day. I think you will really love this. And it also has a touch of warmth to it. I think it is so nice. It's very adventurous. It kind of has this wanderlust spirit. It's in the shape of a little Chloe bag and you have this tassel here, the little fringe tassel. It just kind of adds to the mood that this fragrance evokes. I think they did such a great job with this and it was a best of Allure Beauty winner, if that means anything to you. This next fragrance is the epitome of warm, cozy winter fragrance. Somehow it got left off my list of top 10 fragrances for life, but winter is really when this fragrance shines. So this is Gentle Fluidity Gold from Maison Francis Kurgian, best known for as the house that created Baccarat Rouge 540. But there are several other fragrances from Maison Francis Kurgian that are incredible. Gentle Fluidity Gold being one of them. It is absolutely delicious. A little bit sweet, slightly gourmand. I think if you love gourmand baked goods type of fragrances, you will love this. It is incredibly elegant. And this also could be day, night, special occasion. It could be your signature scent. I could wear this all the time and I think it's, it's just appropriate. 
anywhere you wear it and it almost elevates your look. It elevates the entire mood, it elevates the occasion because it is so chic. Keynotes include juniper berries, nutmeg, coriander, musks, it has ambery woods, and vanilla. <sighs> mm. I could never get sick of this fragrance. It's ideal. I think if I created an ideal fragrance in my head for the winter months, it would be gentle fluidity gold, or at least it would be an attempt to create gentle fluidity gold. Mmm. And you know, I always thought this was so unique, but I accidentally stumbled upon a bit of a dupe. I hate to say fragrances are dupes because they are individual in their own right. They have their own secret recipe that is unique, but Arabian's Tonka from Montal, it came in my best-selling discovery set. As soon as I smelled that fragrance, when it dried down, I thought, wow, this is an incredibly robust, very intense version of Gentle Fluidity Gold. So if you love Gentle Fluidity Gold, but maybe you want to kick it up a notch, I would go with Arabian's Tonka, which is very difficult to find. I've already tried to purchase and it's sold out everywhere. Another fall winter classic is Darcy from Parfum de Marly. I absolutely love these bottles. This gold is insane. It just looks so incredibly luxurious. And the fragrance inside is very serious and sophisticated and I love it. I think it is so perfect for fall winter. And if you're not aware, if you haven't heard the news yet, Parfum de Marly recently announced that they're launching a new version of Delina. It's Delina Rosé, La Rosé, I believe. I cannot wait. I will be reviewing shortly as soon as the box arrives. And if you live in South Florida, they are hosting an event. I'm gonna pop up information on the screen. I will also share all of the details in a community post so you can check it out there. But if you're in town, if you live in the area, I'm gonna be there. I'd love to see you meet up, talk about fragrance. It's supposed to be a really cool niche fragrance boutique. I've never been. And I think a rose version of Delina not only sounds incredible, but I think it's sort of perfect for spring thinking in the future. We're still in winter, so it's all about Darcy for today, but I absolutely love this fragrance. Funny enough, the first time I sprayed this fragrance, my initial reaction was, no, this is not for me, I don't like it. By the time it dried down on my arm, it had become one of my favorites. Mmm, so nice. It is just a lovely fragrance. I think this could be day, night, anytime, any place, anywhere. It's just so good. It has bergamot, orange blossom, jasmine, rose patchouli, gourmand accord, white musk, and woods. For all of my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle lovers out there, I think you would really love Darcy. Not that they're the same. They are unique in their own right, but I do think they have similar qualities. They also share a lot of the same notes. I think Darcy is a more modern interpretation of Coco Mademoiselle, which does make sense not to take away anything from Coco Mademoiselle because that fragrance is a masterpiece. It withstood the test of time. It launched in 2000, I believe. Well, Darcy came out in 2014, so it does have a bit of a fresh perspective. Next up is Mon Guerlain Intense. This is a new favorite and I just cannot put this bottle down. I've been wearing this consistently for the past few weeks, basically ever since I purchased this fragrance. Unless I am trying a new fragrance like the Montal Discovery said, unless I'm experimenting, this is my go-to daily fragrance now. And I do think it works day and night. It's very sexy, sensual, very feminine. Mm, it is so good. That Mr. Wow has so much power spraying out of the bottle. Mm. It's heavenly. Just a beautiful fragrance. I think this might become my winter signature scent. I don't know. It's so tough because there are so many incredible fragrances here. Gentle Fluidity Gold is right there at the top, but you know, the favorite is always the newest addition to the family. I don't get a ton of patchouli. I get a lot of lavender and vanilla, and there is depth and moodiness to this fragrance. It is so sophisticated, very elegant. I saved the boldest fragrances for last. So next I have Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge, part of the Luby World collection. When I first picked this up and I purchased this bottle, 
in a Christian Louboutin boutique and it was the only fragrance they had and I think maybe a week later I was able to find it on the Saks website. Well just now I checked and it looks like it's available at Nordstrom which is great news so hopefully this entire line of fragrances is going to roll out to more department stores that way people have the opportunity to smell the fragrances. They're $300 so it's a very pricey fragrance especially for a blind buy. I burned myself once already purchasing Blind Online, one of the other Luby World fragrances, because I thought it must be incredible just like this one. And it wasn't, it was a bit of a letdown, but I'm very excited and very interested to try the entire line. Luby Rouge for me right now is the standout star of the show, and I do think this is the crown jewel of the entire collection because it has the stiletto shoe right on top of the globe. Anytime I see imagery from the collection, they're usually showcasing Luby Rouge. And it's a standout for sure. Unlike anything else I have in my collection, it was love at first sniff. Inspired by a Parisian cabaret, this is a sultry night out fragrance. It is very sexy, very powerful. It's a very strong fragrance. You don't have to worry about this fragrance disappearing on you. It lasts, it is very bold. It has cardamom, what else? Cardamom, iris, and vanilla, I believe. Mmm, you get the spiciness, the vanilla, so good. I'm at the point in this fragrance video where I'm sort of nose blind. It's very hard for me to pick up on all of the little nuances of the fragrance, but it's incredible. Mm. If they ever came out with a body collection to go with this fragrance, I would purchase every piece because it is just so addicting. A lot of spice, a little hint of sweetness, but you can tell there's something really interesting about it. When it starts to dry down, I almost get a smoky tobacco type of feel. It almost becomes unisex, but then when it completely dries down, you're left with vanilla and it's very sensual. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not too sweet. This is not gourmand at all, but it is just a warm, sultry party fragrance. Last but certainly not least is the powerhouse fragrance on this list. It's Ojan by Parfum de Marly. I am so happy I added this fragrance to my collection last year. And as you can see, it doesn't come in the same beautiful princess bottle as Darcy, and that's because it is considered to be one of the men's fragrances. It's still a very elegant bottle. I love the black gold color combination. It looks very exclusive, very luxe. This fragrance knocks me off my feet. Every time I spray this fragrance, I get a visceral reaction. It's a little bit sweet. It's very gourmand, baked goods, almost apple pie, but a very elegant apple pie. It does have cinnamon and honey. In fact, I'm gonna read you the rest of the notes. Osmanthus, cinnamon, honey, benzoin, ambergris, labdanum, tonka bean, vanilla, patchouli, and musk. There's a lot going on here. All of those things, the combination of those notes just sounds incredible in my mind and they were able to create the most beautiful masterpiece in this fragrance. It's incredible. I feel a strong sense of responsibility to shout this fragrance out from the mountaintop so that more people discover this fragrance. It is so incredible. It's a best kept secret. It is such a hidden gem, especially women, because I think if a man is wandering around looking for a new fragrance and they happen to have Parfum de Marly, I think it is very likely that someone will direct him to this fragrance because it is such a standout. But not women. I don't think many women searching for fragrance in a store would really hear about this. It's delicious for everybody. Anybody and everybody will love this fragrance. Ojan is a standout in my collection. It's a standout for winter. I'll be sort of sad when it really starts to heat up outside because I don't think I'll be drawn to this then, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy it. And that completes my list of the best winter fragrances. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. Now, I wanna hear from you guys. Share your favorite fragrances at the moment. I love reading all of your recommendations. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.